and hello again and here is the last lesson about verb conjugation the last lesson with explanations about verb conjugation and we'll be using it uh, more than we have been using it now rather are you excited aren't you excited okay last lesson about will be about what do we have missing or what do we know mm, for example how do you say mm, we knew what we will be learning we knew huh? that's la da'a that's your day in present there's you you goes away so yeah but no no, no. you uh, in the past <laughs> the future goes away in the past it stays so when you yadanu what we will study ma nilmad yadanu ma nilmad mm -hmm. and we also know everything about the you words such as uh, you want to tell me um, explain uh, better please <laughs> yes how will you tell me and that will be you will explain if it's an order if it's imperative you will explain that's what we how we use it in the imperative so to explain le has for you if it's a boy you would say tasbir but if you're addressing a girl you say tasbiri tasbiri better do you remember how to say better tasbiri yoter tov bevakasha tasbiri yoter tov bevakasha Mm -hmm. or enough introductions start how do you say start imperative imperative is future so you will start how do you say you will start mm, for a boy and for a girl mm -hmm. start already this do explain and let us go with this verb conjugations yes but um i'm making it Trust me, I'm making it simpler uh, than, than, than it could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, so, um, okay, what else do we have there? What do we have to take care about? So we have ani, anach, noat, ata, atem, aten. What's left? Uh huh, right. Who, he, him, and hen. As usual, on the left, the past. On the right, the future. Well, I was thinking, why am I writing future on the right and uh, uh, past on the left? And I finally I understood why, because in Hebrew, this letter, the future letter, comes here on the right, and the past letters is there at the on the left. So end is at the left, beginning is on the right. Yes, I really, I, yeah. Someone asked me this question, and it took me a while to understand. Okay, who he him hand? What do we do? Okay. Uh, now, I will start with explaining about the who, because who, remember with ata, I was drawing a crown because it's masculine and singular. This one deserves a bigger crown. Why? Because this one, the who, the, in English, he, the he form, singular masculine, will, um, uh, for, uh, 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 first, the principle, and then we will send better. Usually for the past, we take the last letter of the personal pronoun, right? Right. Look at these personal pronouns. Kind of not convenient. Alephs and mem, where they had mem and not where they had non. They're really not convenient. They're very much not useful. So this, these four break my whole strategy, break the whole logic. If I say past, we add the last letters, future we add the first letters unfortunately not for these four not for these four and by the way that's why when we use tenses for these four and the endings and the beginnings will not sound will not resonate as personal pronoun we will be adding the personal pronoun and speaking we'll, we'll, you'll see examples you understand you'll know what i'm talking about now okay so i told it the ending will not resemble the personal pronoun, and the beginning will not resemble the personal pronoun. So, what do we add? Uh, uh -huh, let me tell you. For the they form, for the hem and hen, we have luckily have only one. And this only one, do you remember with atem, aten, what did I tell you? What was the ending that was resonating as 
plural? What was the ending that hints us to the plural? Like it's similar to anachnu, but without the n. Mm -hmm. Right. U. So that's what happens with ham and hen. We add the u, but add nothing at the beginning here. Yes, because we don't need it. It's still the past. Still past is last. But just the letter, the letter doesn't really hint. So ana, uh, so ham and uh, they end with u, like lamdu. What does it mean, lamdu? They studied. But I cannot just say, if I want to say they studied well, I wouldn't say lamdu tov. No, I would say hem lamdu tov because I don't hear the hem inside. Hem lamdu tov. Uh -huh. They asked many questions. Hem or hen? One, one, combine. Hem or hen? Sha'alu asked. Harbe she'elot. Many questions. Hem or hen? Sha'alu harbe she'elot. Or, for example, uh, uh, they explained it to me. Hem, so it has to be hem. Hisbiru li et ze. They explained it to me. Hem hisbiru li et ze. Okay, that was they. Now, what do we do with the she? Mm, you know, if I don't want to take a letter from here, what makes sense? What sounds like feminine for us? Which ending sounds like feminine ending? You know that. You know that. I, I hope you just said the answer. I just cannot hear you screaming it and shouting it. That's the ah ending, of course. Of course, the ah ending. Typical feminine ending for she. And, for example, she studied he lambda. And I have to say he in this ah ending. I don't hear that she. Maybe it's... Um, Whatever. Uh, even no, not, no, not. It can be only that, but you have to say Hilam da. Mm, why didn't she help uh, her mother? Why Lama she he Lama he didn't help? Lo ozer ozeret ein sein resh la. So we have ozer ein sein resh ozer azra. Lama he lo azra. To the mother, la ima, la ima, la mahi lo azra la ima. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, why did she eat the whole cake? La mahi to eat, yeah. It was o chel alef chel alef chaf. La med achla, la mahi achla the whole cake. Et kol hauga, la mahi achla et kol hauga. Yeah, she'll get fat. She shouldn't. Lama hi akhla et kol hauga. Now, who form? The crown. Why is this the crown? Because for this form, we will add nothing at the end. And of course, nothing at the beginning, but nothing at the end. So, <clears throat> here, just one blank line. Nothing at the end, nothing at the beginning. And that means that this form, it's not... It's not only that uh, the masculine gets such a interesting, a strong form. It's also, it's also the dictionary form. Yes. So if you're looking word in diction, this, this by this form you'll find. And why? Because this is the pure form. In this form, we are theoretically, theoretically, we see the bare structure of the um, verb. And by the way. The verbs are grouped in classical uh, grammar and classical teaching, and they are grouped according to this past tense he form. Yes. So, um, the, and the in this in this form you hear the vowels most clearly. How well, what are the vowels for each group? I call them group, and they are grouped differently for me than it, um, because I'm, I'm grouping according to the present, and the normal textbooks or grammar books are. Um, classifying verbs according to this form, the who form. Now, so he studied who? Lamad, ah ah. Yeah, well, Lamad, it was ah ah. He said, uh, no, he, he, he asked me who shall oti. Mm -hmm. uh, he loved cakes, yeah, and she ate the cakes. Uh, who I have. Ugot, he loved cakes. So I have ugot, and she ate the cakes. Vehi achla et ha ugot. Okay. Uh, now, and that was for the third group and for group number four. Do you remember how do you say I talked, I spoke to. Di barti. Remember this e a 
d bhakti now this one this form will of course get this e sound because it reflects the peculiarities of each group so he spoke will be d bear d bear he spoke he asked for something b cash uh -huh. he asked to um uh, to think who Bikesh Lakshov Bikesh uh, whatever Bikesh uh, he traveled in the world who Tiel Baolam See how it's worth now. I am I am not writing it here because I'll have to change the vowels for each group. So now when I was talking about group number three, it was a uh, a. Uh. When I'm talking in gr about group number four, you have a um, um, table down there. Uh, you have a table. It's group number four. It will be e e d b c h t l etc etc. But the structure is this empty, empty, nothing. Uh, the king form, the pure form. Okay, now this is more or less it about the past for who, he, him, and ten. This is it. Now, what do we do with the future? Mm -hmm. mm, again, future you see, hey, 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 hey. Useless, just useless. For two reasons. First, it's the same letter. Second, it's a weak letter. It just won't help us. And then the rest are kind of rubbish letters. I'm sorry for that. It's just, it's just useless. So we'll have to invent a little bit. Yep. So what are we going to do? And here, I would say, remember our Hebrew sitting and thinking, what shall I do? Here, the logic fails him completely. Uh, no, maybe, nah, nah, no, it fails him. So just, just have a look. He for the future, at least, at least that's the beginning. It's something at the beginning, yeah. Already good. So it will be yud at the beginning for the he form, and it will be yud at the beginning and u at the end for they form. They will study to study lil mod lomed lomed at lomed. They will study yil medu. Mm-hmm. They will ask. Shoel shoelet yish alu. They will write. Kotev kotevet yich tevu. And if it's a verb that has one letter falling, like lada yodea yodat yid u. Mm -hmm. uh, or to go lalechet holech holechet yilchu. Mm -hmm. And they went in the past. Halchu. Hem halchu, they went. Hem yilchu, they will go. Uh -huh. And ledaber, medaber, medaber, yidabru. To ask for, levakesh, mevakesh, mevakesh, yivakshu. They will tell, lesaper, mesaper, mesaper, yisapru. He will tell, uh, he will tell, yisaper, yisapru. And he will study different vowels. Yilmad. He will ask. Yish al. Um, he will live. La gul changes to yud. Ya gul. Uh -huh. La gul. Remember le changes to yud. La gul. Ya gul. He will sing. Ya shir. They will sing. Ya shir. Oh, ya shir. Now, what happens to the hey at the end group? Remember, like shote, like shote. What happens to it? Like shote, as we have already, we already said. Uh, again, this hey when when there is nothing after that, when nothing added at the end, it will be it will stay intact. So nothing at the end here and nothing at the end here. So it's a perfect place for the letter hey. So he will drink yishte. He drank shata. Uh -huh. He wanted rotse from this group. He wanted ratsa. Uh, he saw 
רואה, ראה, רואה in present, ראה in the past, ראה, he saw, uh, he saw nothing, he didn't see nothing, הוא לא ראה nothing, שום דבר, הוא לא ראה שום דבר. And that's the a form. I can leave it here. Yes, in blue, blues you you'll see that these are blue. Yes, probably. Yeah, your brain is like steaming now. Yeah, on fire. But but you don't have to know it by heart. You don't have to you know maybe fully use the system. But if you see these letters at the end, at the beginning. You have to know what they, you have to recognize what's happening and what's that and what they mean. And this explanation, you can hear it, listen to it again and again. You can look at the review materials and it will settle down eventually again. Not now. Calm down. It will settle down in like about two months if you practice it, if you actively practice it. I just want to be here now and explain these basics to you so that you will not, uh, you will not be lost. Okay, so now one left, one left, and that's the she form. Why did I leave it for the end? Yes, you know, you know, some students tell me that yeah, they, they suspect that they, they already know my strategies. They know that I start with the nice, with the candies, and I leave something. If I left something for the end, it's something nasty. <laughs> if, you, if you think so, right, you're right. Why nasty? <clears throat> Crown. It's not the crown, it's just clash. Why? Why? Do you remember the previous lesson? Why? Why is this like that? Yes, yes, it's this form, which she form in the future, same as you form, you masculine form in the future. The ain mala asot. Ain mala asot, nothing to do about it. Ain mala asot, same as the past form for, uh, same as the uh, future form for masculine. You, for example, uh, she will write a letter. He tichtov michtav. She will write a letter, uh, and then, but then I would specify he tichtov michtav, and then if you will write a letter tichtov michtav, tichtov li michtav. Write me a letter. I wouldn't probably specify because I I think that it kind of it echoes the personal pronoun. So just to, to daber ito, talk to him. To saperli, tell me. And all these, when yeah, all these I I I think that I'm talking to a boy. That's imperative for the boy. And she will. You have to say he. He. Tishal Oto, she will ask him. He and then she will do for the do for the air. How do you think will the air group? The air group, what what will be the ending for the air group? Right, nothing at the end. So air will say stay intact. Yishte mm -hmm. tishte. She will drink he tishte everything all at hakol. He tishte at hakol. She will do um uh, she will do um, homework. He ta ase this ta t changes to ta because of the ose like la asot ain changes to a la asot he ta ase et shurei habayit. Did you notice that I say I don't say ha shurei habayit I say shurei habayit when we have compound words two nouns together the definite article goes in between the two words. By the way, it's just a remark. Mm-hmm and. How do you address? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, she will do it. Uh, he taase et ze. Now, if I want to say she will do it herself, this is just one word you'll see and memorize. And like the last lesson I had, after I finished explaining all this grammar, etc., etc., I just wanted to talk about the, some, some some word. And now I also want to have a spotlight on this word, herself, herself. And again, you will be memorized, but still. Uh, we had a very interesting word, the word etsem, and etsem. 
By the way, it means a bone, you know, a bone, yes? But it also means essence. Uh, no, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not like we use it as essence, when it's like meaning essence on its own, but uh, the, the essence of the, of the, of this word's meaning is essence. That's why bone. So, it's him. Now, that's why when you see, you can say there's an expression, be etsem, be etsem, and this expression means like in the essence, in the essence, but it doesn't mean in the essence, it means actually, actually, sorry for the scribbling, actually, be etsem, and use it, it's a very, very useful one, like as, as an introductory word, no, be etsem, I never heard that. אני בעצם רוצה, אבל אני לא יודעת. Actually, I want, but I don't know. בעצם. זה בעצם נכון. It's like actually correct. In the essence, it like just is. It's correct, אבל. בעצם. או בעצם אני לא אוהבת טונה. Actually, I don't like טונה פיש, אוקיי? It's בעצם. Now, now, more than that, more than that, we use this essence, actually, or bone, in order to express the... And the words that in English are myself, himself, herself, etc. Be'etsem is used as a self, uh, meaning, as the preposition meaning self. And so, if be'etsem is preposition, remember, remember when I'm drawing this line, yes, and I'm taking the blue color, and I'm writing be'etsem, and then I'm writing plus. You can guess what will follow. Be at some, like essentially, and I will be like, let's let's read the self here. Self, and this is I, like my. So how do we get the myself? Any guesses? Right, have you, see, you have seen already what happens when the preposition is combined with the personal pronoun. So we have the, this be at some part, this be'etsem part, if it was not be'etsem but it was le, remember, le plus ani, it was li, either, right? And here instead of le, it will be be'etsem, not ending, but here be'atsmi, be'atsmi means wa, myself, myself, be'atsmi, which is myself. In my essence, in my bone, beseder, be'atzmi, myself. Aha, ani be'atzmi, so I can do it myself. Ani yechola la'asot et ze be'atzmi, I can do it myself. Now, you imperative to a boy, do it yourself. So you, you masculine, so you ta'ase, that's the e, e is the state. Ta'ase et ze, now. By yourself. How do we do that? So, le and... We're talking about ata. Le and ata was, remember? Lecha. Lecha. So, here, instead of le, we will put the be'etsem. So, be'atsmecha. It turns into a, you see, because it's ain. Be'atsmi, be'atsmecha. That's yourself, boy. So, do it yourself, to avoid, ta'ase et ze, be'atsmecha. That's only yourself, and that's masculine singular, be'atsmecha. And if we go, be'atsmech, look yourself, look for yourself. Yeah, look, and where was the feminine? The feminine was on the other screen. She, you at tir. E, remember? Tir E. Tir E, be at smech. That will be for at. And it will end with just ch. So, be at smech. Be at smech. Tir E, be at smech. Look for yourself. Aha. Tish Ali, be at smech. What did they say? Tish Ali, be at smech. Ask yourself. And who did they tell it to? To a girl. תשאלי בעצמך. 
he can uh, he can uh, think by himself by himself. It's like myself or by myself, by yourself, by himself. He can do it by himself, himself. So we think to him was the law, right? Right. So pu le and hu law, but instead of le, we put this beetsem and we get it beatsmo, beatsmo himself. Uh, he can do it himself. Who ya holla asotet ze be at small himself? Okay, I think this is more or less it. This is what I wanted to explain for today. And lessons are getting shorter and shorter. Yes, because maybe I should just leave more practice, more time for practice. Because now practice, practice. Practice, and I mean uh, talking, maybe starting conversations with native speakers and start writing on lang 8, for example, or uh, start reading something. And you have somewhere the last lesson, you have links for different. Just look, uh, look for practice, look for practice as much as possible. And the more you do, the faster the system will settle down. The keys, you have them, the keys. Now, practice, only practice. Okay, and see, we have, we have how many lessons? Two more to go. Just, you know, just cover some side aspects, something interesting, something good, not too difficult, something good. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and see you next time. Goodbye.